Arsenal did something that's really never, ever been done before. They really did the Premier League without losing the game. This team went undefeated. The Invincibles was one of the greatest football teams we've ever seen play football. And that's why today we're going to build them an FC 24 and see if I can win a game with them. Now, the first thing everybody needs to know, just like always, when we build these teams, sometimes players don't exist in the game that were on the team. So if you see somebody that's not here, Please don't freak out. Please don't be mad at me. But a lot of times they just don't have the players in the game. But before we jump into this, let's talk about this a little bit. Because imagine a team going through a whole season without losing a game. That's what Arsenal did, man. The Invincibles, one of the greatest footballing teams to ever play. And more importantly, they did it in the Premier League. Now, in the comments down below, I need you guys to let me know. Do you think the Premier League is the hardest league in the world? Yes or no? Or do you think it's La Liga? Or do you think it's the Bundesliga? What do you think is the hardest league in the world? Not your favorite league in the world, but the hardest. For example, my favorite league in the world is the Portuguese league because I'm Portuguese. But when I look at football and I think what's the hardest league to win in the entire world, I probably would say it's the Premier League. Let me know what you think. So let's start off in goal. Now, instantly, this player doesn't exist. Lehman was the goalie, I think I said that correctly, for the Arsenal team, and he's not in the game. So I'm going to have to put David, who is their goalkeeper right now. But unfortunately, this amazing goalkeeper, the German, right? He was German. Uh, this amazing goalkeeper is not in the game. Now, I could have easily grabbed like Petr Cech or something like that, a keeper that played for them. But I want to keep it as close to the Invincibles as possible. And if that player doesn't exist, then we'll grab a player from modern football. And as we move to the center back again, we're gonna have to add in um, another set, right? Another center back that is not part of the Invincible team because uh, uh, Torre was the center back for this Arsenal team. So we're gonna have to go with Saliba. Now there's only three positions, lads. There's only three positions that are not in the game. It's the goalkeeper, it's the center back, and it's the right back. After that, we can finally go into the Invincibles and have the in full Invincible team. So the right back for the Invincibles was not in the game. So we're gonna go with uh, my boy Ben White. All right, so Ben White, Saliba, and David are only in the team because unfortunately, they did not have, uh, they do not have the actual players that were in this position. Now, one thing that kind of blew my mind was, y'all know the player named Petit? I'm pretty sure that's the stupidest thing I ever said, but y'all know Petit, right? Petit, right? Uh, I thought he was part of this team. And I, I Googled it and kept looking, and I guess it just kind of slipped my memory or made my ball knowledge was in the mud for this one. But I really thought Petit was part of the Arsenal team that did the Invincible, but he wasn't. Um, he won the Premier League and the FA Cup, the double with Arsenal in 1997-1998 season, but he was not part of the Invincible team. So that's on me, lads. That, that That's an L. I really want to put him in the team, but unfortunately... He wasn't part of it, so we'll move. Anyways, let's get to the center backs and let's get to where it gets juicy. We gotta start off with the one and only Campbell, all right? This guy was a stud, great, oh, wrong Campbell, bro. Listen, uh, that's my bad, okay? Uh, just a little bit of technical difficulties. I want everybody to calm down, relax, don't get mad at me, all right? Bang, there we go, that's more like it. Big Campbell into the starting 11. This guy was a brick wall yo this guy was a beast i remember growing up watching this guy and just thinking to myself man this guy is an absolute animal now he played for arsenal and spurs kind of like one of those stories with luis figu and barcelona and real madrid and r9 with barcelona and real madrid two rival teams he played for both of them, played for Spurs for 292 games, nine years, played for Arsenal for five years, 197 games and 13 goals. So it's wild, man. It's wild, wild, wild. But he played for both teams in London, the rival teams. He played for both of them. Now, we're going to move on to the left back, which you guys probably could have already guessed. It's got to be the one and only, the stud himself, Big Ashley Cole. Another one that played for two London sides, all right? Played for Arsenal for seven years, playing 228 games, scoring nine goals, but also played eight years for Chelsea, playing 338 games and scoring seven goals. So once again, just like, uh, just like Campbell, another player that played for two London sides, man, played for Chelsea and played for Arsenal. My question to you is this, What's worse, 
playing for Spurs and Arsenal, if you're an Arsenal fan, or playing for Chelsea and Arsenal. I would say Spurs, right? Spurs is the big rivalry. I would say it's worse playing for Spurs. And I don't know. Let me know. You guys let me know what you think, but I'm pretty sure it would be Spurs. All right, we're going to move on um, to the right mid position. Now, when I get to this position, I cannot wait for y'all to bully me. Uh, because uh, young, Youngberg, 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 la, y uh, um, here's the thing, bro. Man, man has never been able to say his name properly, okay? And I watched this guy, my childhood, I watched this guy, bro. Youngberg, I, young, Youngberg, I think it's like that. I think the J is a, like a Y, I don't know. But he played for Arsenal for nine games. He capped 328 games. He scored 72 goals, played for Sweden for 75 games. This guy was awesome. Like, he was so much fun to watch on the wing. Um, and then you also played for West Ham. Um, so this is like a thing, right? Like, if you play for one English team, you might probably maybe have another English team. Uh, West Ham and Arsenal, another London teams to a guy that played for two London teams. Uh, so that's a pretty interesting story right there as well. But Youngberg, again, I hopefully said that right because man is so stupid. But we're going to go ahead and have him on the right wing and now the left wing. Let me tell you a quick story about this guy, man. My game froze. Growing up, I always wanted this guy to have played for Portugal. Uh, his name is Pires, okay? Now, I don't remember the story. I think his father was Portuguese, or maybe both of his parents were Portuguese, but he was born in France, and he chose to play with France over Portugal. But I remember thinking to myself, because this was way before Cristiano Ronaldo, I remember thinking to myself, man, we could have Pires on one wing and Figo on the other wing. We could have had such a dope Portuguese team, but he chose France. But I can't remember if it was mom was Portuguese or his dad was Portuguese. It was some story like that, but, or maybe his parents were French and he was born in Portugal. I don't know. I know this guy could have played for Portugal if he wanted to, and I always wanted him to, but he didn't. So 98 rated Pires is officially into the team. Now this guy played for Villarreal for 128 games and played for Arsenal for 284 games, scored 84 goals. And guess what? Arsenal is the only team, just kidding, he played for Austin Villa. Yo, what's up with these? Every it seems like you always got at least two English teams on their resume, bro. I thought man only played in, in, in for Arsenal, but nope, he played for Austin Villa. Um, so he played a, a lot of games for, for, for Arsenal. Definitely an Arsenal legend, but he is going to be on the left wing. Let's move inside, all right? Where the biggest and the baddest of them all, man. Big Vieira. That stud, that defensive mid, the heart, the soul, the spine of this team, bro. This man right here played 406 games for Arsenal, scoring 34 goals for Arsenal, but then also played for Man City for 40. What's up with that, G? How come Arsenal doesn't have one player that just played for Arsenal, bro? That's it, GG's no re. Uh, but no, all these players played somewhere else. He also played for Juve and Inter for four years, but his most games come for Arsenal as he spent nine years in London with Arsenal. You love to see it. This guy is the definition of a hard worker, the definition of a defensive mid. What a guy, man. This midfield spot gonna bring, gonna open a lot of eyebrows to the lads, a lot of eyebrows, um, because we're gonna put Burkamp there. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's more forward skills. He's not a center mid. And you're right about that. He is more forward. The midfield that actually was part of this team, uh, I want to make sure I say it correctly, but it was Gabriel, I think. Gabriel, right? Oh, no. Gilberto. I'm sorry. Gilberto was the midfield that played beside Vieira. Gilberto, a Brazilian. But Gilberto's not in the game. So because Gilberto's not in the game, we're going to put Burkamp here as he could play the center mid in FC 24. And then we have two strikers, one that actually started and one that was just on the roster. We'll get to that in just a second. But let's talk a little bit about Burkamp, one of the most creative forwards out there, bro. And, and unfortunately, with this card, you don't actually get to see like his stats, which is kind of sad because we do like to see the stats. We do like to talk about the stats a little bit. Um, so unfortunately, that's not going to work out for us. But he was a remarkable player to watch up front. Now, the Invincibles wouldn't be the Invincibles without Vieira and without the one and low only. The beast himself. This guy was amazing on the field, and now he's legitimately amazing as a commentator. Like, he's so good. Ladies and gentlemen, Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. La, 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 Thierry Henry. Ah, uh, this beast, man. This guy is an Arsenal legend. And guess what, lads? He only played for Arsenal in England. 
he even came back and played half of a season. I remember he came like in January on loan from the Red Bulls or something like that. But this man right here played eight games for Arsenal, playing 369 games, scoring 226 goals. Also went to Barcelona for a little bit, playing 121 games there and 49 goals. Thierry Henry made football exciting. Thierry Henry was just a, a remarkable player to watch. I wish y'all could have witnessed him. If you didn't, he was sick. I got to watch him play, and he was genius on the ball. Now, the next guy wasn't a starter in this team, but he was on the team, and he goes by the name of Ganu. So, Ganu is going to be the striker beside Thierry Henry. See, I would have had Burkamp up here if we had uh, Gilberto. Uh, but because we don't have Gilberto, we got to make it like this. So, lads, this is the Invincibles right here. This is the squad. This is the team. By the way, this man right here played five years for, Ar for Arsenal, playing 198 games, scoring 44 goals. Lovely, lovely forward. Also, he played for uh, Portsmouth. Now, I want to tell y'all, I actually remember him playing more for Portsmouth than... And I, I'm probably saying that. I always say their name wrong. People always laugh at the way I say their name. Uh, I remember him playing there more than I remember him Arsenal. I remember both. But for some reason, I remember him there more. And I have no idea why, but I just do. Anyways, lads, look at this starting 11. Obviously, Ben White, Saliba, and uh, David are not from the Invincibles. That should be a little bit different. But besides that, lads, this is the team. We're going to be in a 4-4-2, lads. We are going to play the team like this. I think I might switch it, let Burkamp and Thierry Henry go up top. And Vieira, obviously, the defensive mid, 4-4-2. Um, and I think they ran 4-4-2 IRL. So we're going to run the 4-4-2 and see what we could do with this team. But this team right here lost no games in the Premier League. It's a crazy thing to say, but it's true. Let's see how we play with them in FC24. I'm actually really excited to play with this Arsenal team. I think the reason I'm most excited to play with this is because Thierry Henry is on the team. Uh, you guys might not know this about me, but I was a huge Thierry Henry and Dingo's fan. Like, I love Dingo. I love Thierry Henry. First of all, I love this Arsenal team. They were sick, man. Now, when they were doing the Invincible run, I was much, much, much younger. So it's hard for me to remember it perfectly. I do remember them playing. Um, but I can't, like, go back in time and tell you exactly score lines and who they dogged. And I can't do that. But I, I do remember watching the team play. Um, but I just don't remember, like perfectly if that makes sense pretty much i think if we want to score a lot of goals we're gonna have to do it with the wings especially with perez this is a great ball burkhan brings it down shoots and all of a sudden ladies and gentlemen the big man up top hits the back of the net just like that bang perez gets the assist i thought thierry Henry would be the first one to score a goal but it's not we're up four minutes in and we are already cruising the victory just like they did in the premier league Let's be honest. Are we through again? Wait a minute. Now Thierry Henry's about to cook on him. Nice passing. Look at this. Okay. I do like what I'm seeing here. Shoot it. Thierry Henry. 2-0. Seven minutes in. Two. Come on, Thierry Henry. Come on. Every time I think of Thierry Henry now, he does this thing on TV where he goes, I can't even do it, bro. He's like holding back a laugh and his eyebrows start going up and he just, I, he's hilarious on TV, man. Anyways, bro. I don't know if y'all ever seen that, but it is so funny to see, man. Uh, come on, baby. Let's play some good defense. This team did not get scored on a lot. Okay, I do remember that. Let's play some really good defense. Let's try to score a lot of goals. I am so surprised how involved Burkamp has been in this, bro. Like, he has been... Yo, man is the, man, man's the main character. Look, man's the main character. Oh, I did not think he was going to be the main character in this team. But hold on now. Blood is cooking. Thierry Henry was about to score another, but gets taken down. Oh, I forgot. I want to try that new Ashley Cole. This guy hasn't attacked us yet. The team is too good. Perez is on it. Perez shoots. It's three. Whoa. La, 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 la. I don't know. I was about to say some song. I was about to sing an Arsenal song, and I completely ruined that. Arsenal fans, I apologize, bro. Yo, we are actually cooking, man. This is too easy peasy, man. This is too. You know what I think it is? I think. Uh-oh. As I was, Saliba, I think our midfield, bro, I think our midfield is too juicy. Like, honestly, they're just too big, man. Vieira, Canu, just big boys. They get all the interceptions. Here we go. What we doing? What we doing? Ole, ole. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, G. Ain't no way. Canu, give me a steal. Canu, give me a steal. No? Man, what we doing? 
What a ball, what a ball. Head it. Oh, maybe I should have shot it. Canu's on it. Thierry Henry's on it. Thierry Henry. He stays with it. Kevin De Bruyne trying to stop us. Back to Thierry Henry. Oh, this is... Oh, I couldn't get the pass. Vier oh, we got to get that interception, bro. Nice, bro. Nah, nah, nah. This team's too good. Nah, this... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Win in doubt. Win in doubt. Ah, I was going to say win in doubt. Take him out. 3-1. Not good, lads. Please don't let him score. Please don't let him score. Oh, man. Off the wall from Harry Kane into the back. What am I seeing? This is cheese. It goes off the wall, off of our player, into the back of the net. Lads, don't call it a comeback. We're getting cooked. We're actually getting cooked here, man. Oh, wait. I got Perez. I got Perez. He shoots. It's in. Perez scores right off a kickoff. Perez saving the day. Come on, Perez. Come on, lads. Yo, the Frenchman just saved us big time. Go on, Canu. Go on, Canu. Burkett. This is nice. Hit the chip. Oh, to the moon. That's a terrible chip, bro. I love this. I really love this. I really love this. How, yo, the main character just showed up. What's up, baby? Big finish. Burkett going crazy. Yo, man, he going crazy, bro. He having a field day right now, man. 5-2. My opponent thought he was going to make a comeback. We were like, nah, 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 La, 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 Thierry Henry. Come on, man. Let's go. Big goal for the Frenchman, bro. Yo, 6-2. We cruising. This is cool. This is real cool. Oh, this is cool. Oh, Kanu getting involved. Yes, Kanu. 7-2. Instantly, I was like, hey, yo, I got this. And you know what's crazy about Kanu? The thing I remember the most about him is just his braids, yo. He had the sickest cornrows, man. I remember that growing up. But, yo, I do remember him at Arsenal, by the way. I just remember him so much in that, like, blue and white shirt. Y'all remember that? I don't know if any of y'all remember, but when he played for the other English team, I just remember him so much in that blue and white shirt for sight. It's just so iconic. Get there. Oh, oh, Pires got him on the ground. Pires, 8-2. I would hate to be you. <laughs> See? Come on. It's my first time actually getting forward with Ashley Cole. This is actually really exciting. Ashley Cole, one of the most expensive players on this team. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. What a ball. He's actually one of the like, most expensive players I had to buy, besides Thierry Henry. Uh, yo, he's nice. That was a really nice ball. And we're up 9-2 before halftime. Nah, at some point, you got to think about ending it, bro, right? You got to think about ending the game, bro. Like, some point, bro, it's okay. It's not a rage quit. It's a skill quit. You know what I mean? Just, yo, it's cool, man. You could you could quit. I ain't going to Ain't no one judging. Oh, 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 VVD. VVD not ready for prime time, baby. Oh. Oh, oh. Perez, empty net shoots. Keeper saves, rebound. Ah, oh, halftime. 9-2, boys. Could have ended 10. It could have been 10. It was almost 10, but it ends 9-2. Thierry Henry, what a relax. It's in. My opponent scored, but lads, we score right back. 10-3, bro. Come on, man. What are we doing? Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are we proving? What are we waiting? It's, 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 it's 10. It's actually 10, bro. Like, there's 10 goals past you. Like, not one, not two, not three. Like, the 10. 10, bro. That's a lot, dude. We're staying? We're really staying for 10. All right, let's go then. Let's make it 11. Here we go. We're going to cut up like this. VVD gets cooked. I look inside. I find him. I drop a Thierry on Reed. He shoots. Oh, that should have been the one, bro. Vieira, huge interception. No, bad pass. Okay. Okay, and it's in <laughs> 11. Nah, yes, dude. Yes, yo. Yo, sweet baby, listen. GG, bro. Listen, I, I get it. 10 wasn't enough, but 11 is. Hey, I get it, bro. I get it, I get it, I get it. It's the right thing to do, G, honestly. It's the right thing. Ain't no way you making tactical changes. Bl bruh's making tactical changes. There's no way. Cook him up, Thierry. Cook him up, Thierry. Cook him up, Thierry. It's in there, Thierry Henry. 12 3. Dude, this guy made tactical changes, bro. He made tactical changes and substitutions at 11 3. I respect his game. I'm not going to lie. I respect it. I respect it. But at some point, bro, 
at some point, ain't no substitution gonna save you, bro. There's like nothing you can do. Like, you gotta go back to the drawing board. Maybe you didn't get the tactics right. Maybe the formation wasn't right for the game. I don't know, but making substitutions? Another one. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Nah, nah. Listen, 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 listen. 13 to 3, dude. Nah, bro. Bro, you gotta go. He's staying. He's actually staying. He's actually staying. My man is scoring on goals. My man is scoring on goals, bro. My man is scoring on goals, bro. Nah, nah, nah. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing, bro? What are we? We're celebrating. We're celebrating. We're celebrating, bro. It's 15, man. We got 15 to three. One more. He's a back out. One more. It's a back out. Yo, yo, yo. Please. Yes. Rage quit him, bro. Yes. 16 to three. 16 to three with the Invincibles. What am I? What am I seeing, dude? Arsenal fans, I hope I made you happy today. I hope I put on a good display and represented your club brilliantly. I dropped 16. All right, it was 13 that he put three in, but still 16 to three. We cooked them, man. It was very, very fun playing with this team. I will tell you one thing. Um, do I like an FC 24? It's okay. Um, I would say that, you know, it's much better IRL. It was much better to see IRL because a lot of the players, like, for example, like, uh, we'll go on Burkham, for example. They only gave him 85 pace. And you guys know in FC 24, having like the 90s is where he really, really cooked. Um, so... Besides that, though, it was a lot of fun to play with. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what, what team you want me to do next for the next video. And I appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. That is the Invincibles. Peace. We out of here.